I first heard Chuck on my radio again, on my little radio. <laughs> Driving a cab again down Michigan Avenue, which is now called King Drive. Martin Luther, every name is Martin Luther King Drive. And I heard the song. Uh, Baby doll, when the bells ring out the summer breeze. Oh, baby doll, we're in for you and me. We sing that old alma mater and think about the used to be. I said, Oh, oh baby doll. I said, and the way his guitar sounded, and it, it coincided with what he was. Singing so well you know, when he plays so. I said, that's a different sound from anything I've heard in blues or anything. I said, this is different. So he finished the song and this time he said, that's Chuck Berry. I said, oh, I never heard of him before. I've heard of Muddy, I've heard of Harlem Wolf, Jimmy Reed, B.B. King, and all of the blues players, Elmo James, but I said, I never heard of Chuck Berry. And I paid attention, and the next time I heard a song, it was Maybelline. <laughs> oh, Maybelline, you know, can't you be true? Oh, Maybelline, why can't you be true? You done started back doing the things you used to do. I said, this guy's really different. He got something on the ball. He, he's mixing country with blues, the, like the, sound, the country western sound and the blues sound combined. So this, this is very different, you know. And I followed him after that. And later on, I heard Johnny B. Good. I said, oh, "That's it. That's it. That's the end of it." <laughs> so I became a very, very big fan of his. He was so creative in what he's doing and uh, the words he used and the, dic the way he used his diction. I said, it's really different. So that's why I really got very attracted to him. <laughs> 